to do. Your foundation is strong. You build up on the rock and the storms are coming.
shine out and uh, amongst the darkness. Uh, and we are going to follow Jesus uh, and they for the miracles uh, and for the signs and wonders. Uh, we're not going to follow him uh, and for the loaves and fishes. Uh, my God, hear me tonight. Uh, and Jesus is the red right in your Bible. Uh, and Jesus said, labor, uh, but not for the meat. Uh, which perish uh, before that uh, and me which endure uh, to everlasting life uh, and which the Son of Man uh, shall give unto you uh, oh, hallelujah uh, for him uh, as God the Father uh, and is sealed uh, amen Jesus said I am the bread that came down from but it is the bread that we need to desire tonight. That's the bread we need to eat of. Amen. If we'll eat of that bread, we'll never go hungry. But my God, hear me. I feel the glory of God. I feel the hand of God. I feel like preaching tonight. I never felt more like preaching to this revival. It seems like uh, 39 years, uh, and the beginning is only begun again. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, I don't know what God uh, is God in store. Uh, and they put the Bible away, church, uh, here in Raven, Virginia. Uh, and they put out God a vision. Uh, I said, I've got a vision. Uh, I know the world, uh, and I'm not about to come down. Uh, and the devil. There's a lot of people that don't believe in the Holy Ghost. There's a lot of people that don't believe in the Holy Living. But I'm not going to tell you that without whole eyes, no man shall see the Lord. And he said, Mr. Jesus, and then the Bible said, and then said they unto 
him. What shall we do that we may, we might work the works of God? What shall we do? I'm asking you that question tonight. What are you going to do? Are you still going to compromise? Are you still going to run with the word of churches? Are you still going to run with everything that's going to come on? Or do you want to do the works of God? If we want to do the works of God, we've got to manifest ourselves into the work of God according to the word of God. And let the spirit flow through our vessels. My God, somebody is a watcher to the Lord. Spirit, 
and them that worship him that's worship him in spirit and in truth my associate brought it out so good this morning about sitting on the right hand of God on the right hand of Father amen God did not have no right hand the spirit does not have no right hand my God that same spirit did that conceive in mercy and she brought forth the man child of that same anointed of that same spirit when you get saved and it dwells in your body of the more incredible sign and know that don't make us Jesus and we just have some people that come through this area and they said oh Jesus you see it's what you see in them and I looked at them I said poor Jesus the poor Jesus of the more incredible sign. They didn't believe in Jesus' return. They don't believe in even coming back. Honey, but just as sure as you'll get a chair tonight, this same Jesus that was taken up from us is going to come back in like manner as they see him go. Honey, I'm here to tell you tonight, we are Jesus' name. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, from the more incredible sound, but that don't make us Jesus. From the more incredible God, Taya, when they want the one Jesus, and he hung on the cross, when they between two trees, he gave his life that you and I could have life and have it more abundantly. He didn't have to do it. But he did And this same man And while he hung there With that big old Roman soldier That came back with that long spear And put it in his side And forthwith That came blood and water Out of our Savior's side And never drop of blood But they came down With that old rugged cross It was for my sin It was for your and we gotta get our sins of uh, the blood of the Lamb. Amen. The Lamb. And uh, it was set down. And uh, he went to the slaughter. And uh, he opened not his mouth. Uh, oh my God. Uh, they patted him at the whip of pose. Uh, and they kept the whip. Uh, and the lashes that were around his back. Uh, and jerk flesh out. Uh, oh my God. Uh, and he opened not his mouth. And he took all that uh, for this young man's healer. And he back here tonight. He took that uh, for my healing. When I was down with cancer, he took it for my soul chat uh, for his stomach problem. When he couldn't eat and couldn't go. And he healed him and healed me and healed my wife. He could have only cut him He's not the healer. It's not too late to tell me. He's not the savior. It's not too late to tell me. He's not a miracle working God. It's not too late to tell me. He'll just play with his name. But he's there too many people to lie. But he's there playing church. They're playing with God. You're going to see a light shine out. You're going to know. Amen. But nobody may never mention Jesus to you. But if I get to talk to you five minutes, honey, I'll mention Jesus. Honey, several times. Honey, there ain't no other way. Honey, out of this old world. Jesus said, I 
am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And if you try to climb up some other way, he said you was a thief and a robber. You're not going to get in. He said I'm the door to the sheepfold. My God, hear me. And I'm glad every child of God has to come to in that same door. Well, hallelujah. But you can't get in. No other way. He's too high. You can't get over him. He's too low. You can't get under him. He's too wide. You can't get around him. You must go through the door. Well, glory. And when you make it over on the other side, I'm here to tell the people you ain't gonna see three men, honey, sitting there on the throne. Honey, you're gonna see one, and his name is Jesus, and he's gonna be the judge. He knows the very intent of your heart tonight. He knows every thought, but it goes to your mind. He knows what you think about one another, but I'm here to tell ya. There's a hell and it is shot. And there's a heaven the gate. And all in the pure heart. And the more incredible side. And he's gonna make it in. And they from the buttons of the heart. And in the mouth speak out. And they say bad. Whatever's in this heart. And that's what's gonna come out. Or it's good or bad. You can run. But you can't hide. And the Bible said, listen, this is the word of God that you believe on him whom he has said. And they said, therefore, to him, what sign show us thou then that we may see and believe thee? What does thy word? Amen. Somebody is always looking for a sign. They're always looking for this and looking for that. And the sign is already being given. Give out. And they say about. Read about Jonah. He stayed in the bed. Went in the bed. Amen. Down in that big old fish. Amen. Three days. Amen. Seaweeds. Wrapped around him. Amen. I want you to know he out of the bed in hell and they say bad and you can run but you can't hide but God knows everything about you but I'm all kind of he knows the life you live. He knows the talk you talk. From the more incredible God tell ya. And in the Bible said, oh, Hallelujah. Her fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, He gave them bread honey, from heaven to eat. And then Jesus said unto them, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. You see, they thought of Moses giving that bread, but my friend, but hear me, honey, God sent it down, honey, for the more incredible side, amen, and told them, just take enough for one day. That's all they needed. Amen. They were some God greedy. And they took more. But the worms got in it. My God. The people is trying to outdo God. They're trying to be disobedient to God. But obedience is better than sacrifice. But I'm glad that God will be there for need. That we have. It will be obedient to the word of God. Amen. We got to know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Many people don't know it. But I got news for that devil. I know his time. I know what 
he does. I've been over on his side before. But he put God's side. He's a whole lot better. Hallelujah. And in the devil, he's a liar. And the father of it. That's the only thing the devil can do. Hallelujah. And a lot of people, they will break the devil for a lot of things that they bring upon their self. The more we cut the more I tell you, the boys I feel, in the hand of God, they're reaching down in this place tonight. I feel God giving me anointed like I ain't had in many, many years. Hey, something. Church, a if you're a preacher, you know. 
told to go and tell the people they need to cleanse themselves and come out. He said, come out of her and my people and be you separated. Bless said the Lord, my God. And we see people today. Amen. I'm preaching you something. Amen. The women. He's got their hair cut off like a man. They got earrings in their ears and in their nose. And probably the belly button. Amen. They're trying to preach. But in the word of God. That's a state in God's God. Well, I'm still a cold wave, but that's all right, baby. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going Just a little more tonight. Amen. Amen. For the bread of God. 
that is he which come down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Honey, I want you to know if you want life, you can have it. When you get hungry for the word of God, honey, you're going to keep seeking until you find what that soul means. Amen. There's something about it. Honey, I can make over about five churches right in a restaurant. Honey, they throw it in the towel. They quit preaching. They destroyed the people. And they moved on down the road. Honey, going to and fro. And seeking for peace. And what they hunt for. The one preacher said, I left the church. Because I asked him for a raise. And he wouldn't give it to me. They said, I left the church. They said, how much you got? I said, I've been here 39 years. And I've never been on salary. And she said, I know you as a friend. And if I can hear your voice, then God is going to do a more call. Yeah, man. I want you to know something tonight. And it ain't no distance of God. Shall never thirst. Glory. Yeah, man. Wow. 
And if we come and eat the bread of life, amen, I want you to know that we drink of this spirit. Amen, you're never hungry. And you're never thirst. I feel the glory of God. I feel the hand of God. This is why some of us, when they come here at the church, we can't wait till the next service. We can't wait to get here. But that's why we start early. Amen. Thank God. And the Spirit begins to move. But it's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. I'm just passing through this old world. We are privileged. But we are strangers. But we're just passing through. But glory. Amen. You know, Jesus. Honey, life was here. Upon this old earth in the flesh was only 33. And one half years old. But my God, hear me. Honey, I'm here to tell you. And he let the people know. Woo, hallelujah. Do you know? who Jesus is? Do you know who God is? Do you know who the Holy Ghost is? Do you know who the Father is? Amen. A lot of people don't. But the Bible tells you these three are one. And the Father is not a name. Son's not a name. And Holy Ghost is not a name. And that is titles. Amen. I've got a Father and I am a Son and I have the Holy Ghost that's speaking an unknown Tongue. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me tonight? But thank God I'm glad. Honey, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Honey, these is all one. You can't separate them. My God. Honey, hear what I'm going to tell you. Honey, you take an egg. Honey, you got three parts. Honey, that egg. Is that not right? Honey, you got the yellow. You got the white. And you got the shell. God, how many three? You got one egg, and this ain't bad. You take a tree, you got three parts. You got the wood, you got the bark, you got the sap. How many trees do you have? Only one tree. My God, I'm gonna preach it. Let it hurt if the devil tonight. I'm gonna tell you. Woo, hallelujah. Honey, there's one Lord. There's one faith. There's one baptism. And yes, there's one God. And there, O oh Israel, there's one Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Do you know that? Amen. Even Israel. Amen. You know the devil that believes in one God. And the devil tremble. Amen. We got people that believes in three gods, four gods, two gods. And they can't even shake. Amen. But they get in a false spirit. Amen. And rattle off. Honey, I'm here to tell you tonight. Honey, when you understand the word of God, you're going to find out that there ain't but one God. Honey, I'm glad. Honey, the Bible teaches us you do well if you serve one God. Serve two or three. That's like working for two or three bosses on the same job. And one boss will tell you this, and another boss will tell you that. I believe you gotta have one boss and this same man. That's why I let people, and he goes to three or four different churches, and they got three or four different pastors. One to tell you to do this, and then to tell you to do that, and your mind gets confused. Well, God said He was not the author of confusion. Amen. If you're confused tonight, you're before the judge each one of them jurors got a different decision are you hearing me tonight then that judge got to end up make the right decision and he may make the wrong one 
Let the judge I'm talking about tonight and make the right one. No matter what you say. And he won't hear that. Would you please search the book again? Would you please search the book again? He don't have to search the book. He already knows the book. He is the book. He don't have to search it. He knows our life. He knows what we do. Put them on. He cut them on. Who cut them on? I cut them on. The Bible said, but I say unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. There's some people right here in this place tonight. You've heard the word of God. You haven't seen Jesus. But you've heard the word of God. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. But I thank God there's some that do. There ain't no way. The only way I can please everybody. I please hey babies, I get up. And you're in the hay kind of sit down. I kind of change that feeling. I please a quarter and I get up and three quarters and I sit down. The word of God is the same. Jesus Christ said I'm the same yesterday forever and I change. He's the same. 39 years ago we walked through this door, me and my wife. 37 people followed me. The same spirit is still here tonight. Amen. And most of those that came with me, there's still a few of them here with me tonight. But the most of them was on the wall over here. They'll pass on out of this life. But their names are still on the board with me. Amen. And the Bible said, But I say unto you, that you all so have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me and him that cometh to me, I will no wise cast out. If you come to Jesus with believing, faith, yes, and believe the word of God, and live right, live holy, dedicate yourself to God, he will not cast you out. But if you don't live according to the word of God, and be obedient to the Word of God. When you stand before Him, before that white judge throwing up there, amen, in heaven, He's going to say, Depart from me, ye workers of an empty, I never knew you. And you'll be cast into a lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone. Uh, but if you're a child of God, uh, you hear something like this. Uh, welcome into the joys of the Lord. Uh, you've been faithful over a few things. Uh, and now I'm going to make you ruler over many. Uh, honey, we've got to do something to make it to heaven. Uh, we've got to live a holy, dedicated life. Uh, honey, before this lost and dying world uh, and turn a death here to this garbage. Uh, I said you could live any way you want to. Uh, you could dress any way you want to. Uh, you could look any way you want to. Uh, you could talk any way you want to. Uh, honey, I'm here to tell you when you get saved, uh, there'll be a change uh, made uh, in your house. Uh, I said there'll be a change made. Uh, the Bible said, listen, amen, for I came down from heaven but the will of him that sent me. Woo, glory. This is what Jesus is saying. And this is the Father's will which has sent me. That of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me. That everyone who sees the Son and believeth on Him may have everlasting life and I will raise Him up in the last day. My God, hear me. There's going to come a resurrection. We may go by the way of the grave, but the grave ain't going to hold us. The grave's going to bust open and we're going to come out when you believe in the word you don't honey the dead is going to rise first and those that are alive and 
we made until the coming of the Lord is going to be coming to be with Jesus in the air and forevermore. He said, come.